Yo, what is up? It is your boy Zether here back with a new what if. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one since this is a really dope idea that I don't think too many people are doing. But uh, yeah, as you can see from the title, this is going to be what if Naruto had absolute cancel. So Naruto's ability, I'm just going to explain it now so that nobody has any really confusion. Naruto's ability is basically going to be Aizawa's. Every time that he looks at somebody, his eyes are going to turn red. That's the reason why I chose this Naruto in the thumbnail. It's not going to be because of the nine tails or anything. He's just going to, that's just what I figured looks dope. So <laughs> yeah. Now Naruto's eyes would basically glow red every time that he's erasing somebody's chakra. And it would basically have the same limitations as Aizawa's with the blinking limitation on. Every time he blinks, the chakra would come back to them. Now I'm going to set a limit. He could cancel up to 10 people's chakras at the same time if he wants to. And he can choose who he wants to. But with that being said, let's go ahead and um, get started. So for this what if, Naruto's life is actually going to be normal up until the point about that he's about 11 in the academy. His life is going to go as usual until actually one day Naruto would actually be walking around town. Basically walking to try to go to Ichiraku Ramen when out of nowhere Chunin comes in and tries to shoot a fireball jutsu at him. And telling him that he's annoying, he should just die. And Naruto would begin to get beaten by him and this is when the Chunin would jump away and try to use a fireball jutsu on him but Naruto's eyes begin to glow red and he cancels the, the Chunin's chakra and after he does that Naruto proceeds to basically run away from him. The Chunin just sits there wondering what's going on and as soon as Naruto blinks his eyes the Chunin gets his chakra back and as he tries it again he then realizes that his chakra went away for a second. After he does that, he stays away from Naruto and doesn't really decide to pick on him. He actually wants to kill him because he thinks Naruto had something to do with him, but isn't really sure what the Ninetales was doing. He thinks that the Ninetales took influence, so he just stayed away from Naruto. Now, Naruto doesn't actually realize what had happened, so Naruto just decides to run away and go to Ichiraku. Now, once he arrives, he gets his ramen bowl just like he would not as usual. And Ichiraku would basically say hi to him and say that, uh, actually for today, Naruto, it's on the house. Now, Naruto would actually smile a lot and be like, thank you, Ichiraku. And he would basically tell him what happened to him. And Naruto would say, I don't know, some Chunin just came in and tried to beat me up. Ichiraku would say, you know what, you can get two bowls on the house. Naruto would smile and basically take the bowls. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say that the next day rolls around, right? During the next day, Naruto would basically be put up against Sasuke to spar. Now, when this is actually happening... Sasuke would begin to basically rush at Naruto and they would be fighting on not even terms at all. Sasuke would basically be whooping Naruto and uh, uh, Naruto would basically get angry. This is when he looks at uh, Sasuke and his eyes begin to glow red. Not Sasuke's, Naruto. And Sasuke seeing this would be like, Sharingan? But then look at his eyes and see that there's no Tomos and he would basically try to proceed to keep attacking with the same fierceness that he was before. But Sasuke would realize that his punches, his kicks, his, his agility would go down exponentially. Because without Chakra, he's basically a normal 12-year-old. Actually, 11-year-old. And he has nothing against Naruto, who has the fucking Ninetales. Unlimited Chakra, practically. And cans and canceling Chakra powers. So Naruto would proceed to bully on Sasuke and destroy this man. The girls after seeing this would basically go up to Naruto and say, Naruto, how could you do this to Sasuke? You should have lost. And Sakura would basically go up to punch Naruto in the head. But Naruto would look at her and cancel her chakra, making her punch weaken by way more than usual. So it would definitely hurt, but way less than normal. Now, after this, Naruto would basically look at uh, Iruka sensei and ask him if he could go see the Hokage. Now, after he does that, the Hokage is basically, no, 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 Iruka is just like, why? And uh, Naruto says that for some reason, he feels a little different. And uh, uh, Ichi, uh, wait, wait, uh, Ir Iruka, Iruka sensei would basically just tell him that, yeah, whatever, like, that's fine. Just uh, come to class tomorrow and be early and don't be goofy. And Naruto would basically say, okay, like, I, I promise to be here and not pray any pranks. Iruka would smile and tell him to go off. Now, this is when Naruto would basically go to visit the Hokage. Once he gets into the office, he begins to tell Haruzen that he has a super special ability. And Haruzen would basically look at him and say, has he discovered the Ninetales? Wondering that in his head. And Naruto would say, 
look at him and say, I think I have, I think I have uh, the Sharingan. And Ruzan would look at him and be like, what the fuck? Did Kushina cheat on Naruto, on Minato? And then Naruto would basically proceed to look at Haruzen and cancel his chakra and his eyes would begin to glow red as Aizawa's would. Now, as he sees this, Haruzen would be like, oh, this isn't the shark. After this, Naruto would basically look at him and not blink and he would tell Haruzen to try to use his chakra. This one, Haruzen would say, for what, Naruto? And Naruto would just look at him and say, just try it. Now, this is when Haruzen would basically be like, okay, Naruto. And he would try to create some hand signs for a, a small little fireball jutsu. He would try to use it, but nothing would come out. He would realize that he doesn't feel any of his chakra. And Naruto would be like, see, isn't it amazing? And Haruzen would actually realize that Naruto, it must be his his eyes. His eyes must be canceling his, 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 his jutsus. He would tell Naruto to close his eyes. And Naruto would. As soon as he opens them, he would try to use the fireball again or any chakra at all. And Hiruzen would basically realize that Naruto has a super special gift. He has the ability to cancel chakra, reversing people to normal, making them just normal base human beings. Without Hiruzen and his chakra, he would be way weaker than he is. And Hiruzen would decide that this is a power that he needs to, you know, he needs to put a foot on. That he needs to, like, really get naruto to be be a badass you know be be dope as fuck so this is when uh hiruzen would basically call in kakashi a couple minutes later kakashi would arrive and hiruzen would explain the situation to kakashi now kakashi would be astounded and be like he can cancel chakra and hiruzen would basically say i'm afraid so i need you to train him kakashi so he can become a strong shinobi and not use his powers in the wrong way Kakashi would accept this offer, seeing as this was Minato's son, and would basically decide that uh, he's gonna definitely need to train Naruto and becoming an amazing fighter. So, uh, during the next year, Naruto would proceed to basically go to the academy as well as train with Kakashi. During this time, Naruto and Kakashi would have basically figured out all of the details that come with Naruto's amazing power. His power goes away every time that he closes his eyes, and when his eyes go red, it's basically because he's canceling chakra. Now. Naruto would actually decide that that's a really awesome power. He'd be like, yo, I'm gonna be unstoppable. And Kakashi tells him to fight him. Now, Kakashi ends up whooping the ground with him and says, Naruto, you may be able to cancel people's jutsus as well as genjutsus, but if you can't beat them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'm afraid that you're gonna be losing a lot. And you need to not take your power for granted as it seems to be something special, some sort of uh, KK Genkai. That's what they basically chalk it up to. A sort of KK Genkai. But Naruto, it's just a quirk. He literally just has a quirk. So, yeah. Naruto would begin to train with Kakashi. The first thing Kakashi would train him on is his chakra control. He would see that he has trouble since he has a nine tail seal within him and basically tries to get around it. He would try to teach Naruto some good chakra control and after about a couple of uh, a month or so, Naruto would have his chakra control down a little more. Be able to use it more finesse. For the next five months, Naruto would be trained on using his chakra control as well as teaching him a couple of jutsus, how to water walk, tree walk, and would teach him mostly during this entire time how to become a taijutsu god. He would basically be teaching uh, Naruto how to become a strong taijutsu specialist. And Naruto would basically be training. During this time, Naruto would have definitely surpassed Sasuke, would have definitely been on equal terms with him in terms of chakra control. No, wait, in terms of of uh, jutsus and all that since sasuke is a prodigy keep that in mind so sasuke is definitely like around naruto's level but if naruto was to use his uh what's it called his chakra canceling sasuke would be fodder to him so yeah like naruto's gonna be pretty fucking broken i'm not gonna lie to you guys so as things goes on uh they get to the day of the graduation exam and naruto actually ends up passing creating a shadow clone perfectly this is when uh uh mitsuki would actually decide that he needs to pick another kid and uh, no he would actually decide that he's still gonna try to use naruto since naruto's probably still young now naruto would see that mitsuki is trying to do this and would basically just go along with it he would basically decide that if he could actually get his hands on that scroll he could probably learn a jutsu as well as catch mitsuki in the act so he would go on to steal the scroll and report back to mitsuki but before he did he would begin to learn the multi shadow clone jutsu just like he did in the original candy and yeah, he would basically proceed to body Mitsuki without the shadow clones. He would do it with his raw physical strength and canceling Mitsuki's uh, chakra flow. 
So yeah, Naruto go up the ground with him, took the scroll back to Haruzen, reported everything, and Haruzen would basically go up to Mitsuki and be like, how could you, Mitsuki? I trusted you. And Mitsuki would say, I needed the money. This village is damned. It's going to go to hell someday. And Naruto would just kind of smile to himself, thinking, yeah, I caught you, boy. I caught you. Anyways, he would now know the multi-shadow clone Jutsu, and would basically, things would basically just go to normal the next day. Now, the next day, he would proceed to just uh, sit down in his seat, and they would be given the teams. Now, in this version of events, the teams would go as follows. Hinata, Naruto, and Sasuke. Why did this happen? Well, the Hokage basically decided to put Hinata on the team because he wants them all to be Genjutsu users or KK Genkai users like the Byakugan, the Sharingan, and the ability that nobody's really given any name to it. The, the Eye of... Actually, you guys can decide what I want to call it. What, what, the, what the Eye is going to be called for the Naruto. You guys can pick a dope name and I'll definitely be using the one that I think is coolest. But uh, yeah, you guys can pick that. Now, that team would be announced and Kakashi would arrive late. Of course, Naruto would expect this and decide that during that time, he's going to try to talk to his teammates. He would go up to Sasuke and ask him like, uh, like how, like how do they, how does he feel about it? And Sasuke would be like, <laughs> don't get in my way, nerd. Now, this is when Naruto would proceed to flash his eyes at him and Sasuke would be a little frightened, admittedly, because every time they fought, Sasuke always ends up losing due to having no chakra. So Sasuke through the years would have actually trained harder on his Taijutsu in order to counter that. And he would try to talk to Hinata, but Hinata would basically just be shy as, as she was in the original canon. And Naruto wouldn't really understand why. Yeah, guys, the ship is going to be uh, Hinata. So, you know, just, 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 yeah, the monstrosity of Boruto will be born. But hey, Naruto gets to have Hinata. So, I mean, I think it's fair. So, yeah. Uh, Kakashi ends up arriving a little bit later and this is when he sees the team. He sees that Naruto pulled no pranks and is actually pretty excited to have the team that he has. He has Sasuke on his team who has a Sharingan. He can definitely teach him how to use it as well as a girl with a Byakugan. And Sasuke, and he, uh, what's his name? He touched, oh my god, Kakashi is actually pretty pleased with his team. Now this is when they would go to the room and Naruto would tell everybody his goal of wanting to become the Hokage and being respected by all. Sasuke would basically do his little uh, emo boy, and Hinata would be too shy to say anything, but her goal would be to get that Naruto dick. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, during that year that Naruto and Kakashi have actually been training together, they would have definitely developed a strong bond together. So, uh, it's, um, what's his name? Kakashi would be a sort of father figure towards Naruto, and Naruto would uh, basically look at Kakashi as a symbol of where he wants to be someday. Now, Kakashi would proceed to tell them that they're going to be having the belt a test tomorrow. Not the belt test. He would proceed to tell them that they're going to be having a test tomorrow. And Naruto would be grinning and thinking about this. And he would begin to tell them not to eat food. And Naruto would just kind of grin. And uh, what's his name? Kakashi would look at him and say, And you, Naruto, you better not eat. And this is when the rest of the team would just be like, Uh, do they know each other? And Naruto would be like, Okay, okay, Kakashi. Now, Naruto would go home and he would eat. He would eat. He, he didn't listen. <laughs> and the next day would come around. They would basically arrive there. And this is when Kakashi would get there about an hour late. Naruto would have known that. So he would have arrived about 40 minutes late. And uh, gotten there just in time for Kakashi to get there in about 20 minutes. Now, Sasuke seeing Naruto arrive late would be like, Hey, you dope. Why are you here so late? Naruto would say, I don't see the sensei anywhere. So what's the problem? And Hinata would be like, no, it's okay. Now, Sasuke would basically be like, I don't care about your little special eye. You have to follow the rules just like us. And Naruto would flash his eyes at him and Sasuke would be like, okay, try me. This is when Naruto would proceed to about get almost get into a fight with Sasuke, but Kakashi would roll around and he would be like, no fighting, Naruto. And he would basically scare Naruto a little bit since uh, he was right behind him and whispered into his ear, no fighting. Now, he would basically proceed to tell them about the bell test, and uh, this would basically change everything. In this version of events, Naruto would actually, um, what's it called? Uh, boys, I'm gonna change location. I'm, oof, I'm changing location real quick. Oh my god.
Yeah, I'm changing the location real quick. I'm kind of tired of uh, being where I was right now. So uh, I'm just going to change location real quick, you know? Hopefully this doesn't bother you guys. But, um, I'm put my mic down. but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to the Zabazal. I'm going to finish that entire mission for you, boy, since, you know, I think you deserve it. Now, okay, like I was saying, the bell test would begin, and uh, Hinata would actually point out that there's only two bells, so how are they all going to pass? So when Kakashi would basically tell them to figure it out, and as if in an instant, Naruto, it would click in his head. Naruto would decide that they have to use teamwork. They would all go into hiding, and this is when Naruto would go up to Hinata and tell her that the point of this exam is most likely for them to work together, and that they need to work together to get those bells from Kakashi, since no matter how strong each of them is individually, they'll become way stronger as a group. Hinata would nod her head at this, and would get a little more of a... Um, get a little bit of character development since she's gonna be less shy around naruto since she realizes that she's gonna become uh she's gonna be around him a lot like there's no dodging the being around naruto so naruto would decide that that's that and would basically go up to sasuke with hinata next to him they would um give sasuke the intel and sasuke would be like why should i work with you you freaking nerd and naruto would say trust me and um this is one that Sasuke would be like, okay, loser, let's do this. So Naruto would jump in first and cancel all cancel uh, Kakashi's chakra flow. And this is when Hinata would jump in and try to gentle fist Kakashi, but he would dodge all of her blows and basically hit her, knocking her back, elbowing her to the stomach. Kaka uh, Sasuke would jump in from behind and try to use a fireball jutsu, but uh, Kakashi would dodge. This is when Naruto would have to blink and his chakra would return to him. As soon as he does that, Kakashi uses a wind style and shoots it at them. But before he could get it back, Naruto would have looked at him and the jutsu would have been canceled due to Naruto's eyes. Now, as this is happening, Sasuke, Hinata, and Naruto all begin to basically rush at Kakashi using their chakra, using everything in their ability to try to take out Kakashi. Kakashi, however, would actually end up on top and would basically just uh, proceed to fondle with them even though he has no chakra and just his base tactical mind and uh taijutsu alone would basically proceed to uh basically body them so at the end uh what's it called kakashi would basically tell them that they 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 pass kakashi would reveal the true intention of the mission and naruto would bump fist with uh would try to bump fist with sasuke but sasuke would just kind of ignore it and be like whatever naruto you got lucky, I guess. And Naruto would basically be like, ah, hard to, hard to be friends with, I guess. Little emo boy. So they would be assigned missions together, just like in canon. And what they would do would basically be the normal, you know, little uh, D rank mission for about a month. Now, during this month, Sasuke would have actually been training his ass off, trying to get closer to Naruto. During this month, Sasuke would have actually attained the one Tamoe Sharingan. Hinata would have improved her Taijutsu a little bit. And Naruto would have improved his Taijutsu as well as gained a couple more Jutsu. At this point, Naruto knows that he has the affinity towards the wind style and would basically definitely be using that to his fullest capabilities. Not to the fullest, but definitely be using it as much as possible. Now, what's it called? Naruto would basically proceed to tell Haruzen that they deserve a better mission. They've been going on D ranks if they feel prepared to go on a C rank at least. Now, this is when Haruzen would basically look at them and say... All right, Naruto, I'll give you a C rank mission. He would look at Kakashi and basically nod his head, telling Kakashi to really take care of all of his teammates. Since they're all really special, you have Sasuke, the last user of the Sharingan in the Leaf Village, Hinata, the heir to the Hyuga clan, and Naruto has one of the most rarest eyes ever. Now, I'm just gonna throw this out there. If Naruto's eyes were to, what's it called? Actually, no, I'm not gonna spoil this for you guys. So. Let's say, uh, let's say Naruto basically is happy and they all end up seeing Tazuna when he's walking. Now Tazuna when he walks in would basically walk in and look at the team that's going to be supervising him. He would basically proceed to say, this girl, I expect to believe that this girl is going to be protecting me. Hinata would basically hide a little bit and be a little embarrassed and ashamed. But this is when Naruto would step up, being a little taller than he was in canon, around the same height as Sasuke and say, take that back. Hinata's a strong Kunoichi. And Tazuna would be like, <laughs> we'll just have to see about that. Now, the next day would roll around, and this is when they would basically go off to the land of waves. 
During that trip, the two Chunin brothers would pop up and Sasuke as well as Naruto would take them out before Kakashi got killed. They would go off. This is when Kakashi would point out to Tazuna that this seems to be way higher of a mission than what he had uh, said in the beginning. Tazuna would basically have a little bit of a sweat drop down his face thinking, I hope this guy doesn't find out. Now, this is when uh, Naruto, Sasuke, Hinata, and Kakashi and Tazuna would basically just head off. A couple minutes later, Tazuna would basically admit to what's happening and uh, Kakashi would say, we need to get back. But his team would basically just tell him that we're ready, Kakashi. Like, we believe in ourselves. Like, we think we can go through with this mission. And Kakashi would look at uh, Naruto and Naruto would uh, like kind of nod his head at Kakashi. And Kakashi would be like, fine guys, let's go. About an hour would go by and this is when a huge sword would be flung at them. Kakashi would tell his team to dodge and they would all do so, Tazuna as well. And this is when Zabuza, the kid in uh, the hidden mist, uh, seven ninja swordsman would come out. And Kakashi would have his battle with, uh, what's his name? What's, oh, what is his name? Zabuza. Now, when the battle starts, Naruto looks at Zabuza immediately, canceling his chakra. And every time that Zabuza would try to use any of his jutsus, he would find himself in a world of struggle. He doesn't have his chakra. He would begin to look around and see Naruto's canceling him. But every time he would try to take Naruto out, Kakashi would be right in front of him and basically proceed to whoop him. I mean, Zabuza is strong, don't get me wrong, but without his uh, ninjutsu, I don't think he would be any match for Kakashi. Now in the woods, Haku would basically be watching and this is when Kakashi would basically proceed to kill, uh, wait no, almost kill, what's his name, uh, Zabuza. As soon as Haku appears, she would trap Kakashi in her ice mirrors. And this is when Naruto would look over there and be like, Kakashi! He would blink his eyes and Zabuza would get his chakra back. But then he would open them and aim them right at Zabuza and Haku, canceling both of their chakras, canceling out the ice mirrors. And Kakashi, Naruto, Sasuke would basically all rush at Haku and Zabuza. Since they don't have their chakra, Haku wouldn't have her ice jutsu, so she would only have her senbon to rely on as well as her taijutsu talent. And Zabuza as well as Haku would proceed to get overwhelmed by the team of them and they would be using fireball jutsus, wind style jutsus, Kakashi would whip out a water dragon and that would be the end of that. Kakashi would then proceed to stab his Shidori into Haku and Zabuza's chest and that mission would go by way smoother than in canon. Now Zabuza would actually be really impressed by the team and be like, I can't believe these mere Genin are able to do what they're doing. Now he would actually thank them and this is when they would go back to the bridge and you know it would be announced that uh they would be taken to tazuna's house and they would basically be resting this is when they had uh, the rest of the team would learn water walking as well as tree walking they would have no worries so during this time kashi would be able to train sasuke on his sharingan as well as train hinata and let her you know do a little bit of training on her own as well as training naruto so everybody would have definitely improved a little bit just not as much as um just not too much since they don't really have too much time now the bridge would actually be completed and this is when Gato's men would arrive. They would try to taunt them and basically, uh, ta uh, what's his name, Gato's men would basically be like, too bad you guys are gonna die here before you could finish, before you could finish the bridge. We'll be destroying this. And Tazuna would be like, ah. This is when Naruto, Kakashi, Sasuke, Hinata, Tazuna, as well as some of the other, uh, townspeople would appear and they would all stand up to the Gato's men. Gato's men would be frightened by this and the reason that they stood up to it would be because Naruto, Sasuke, and Kakashi would have been, uh, Tazuna would have basically told the entire town that Naruto and as well as the rest of the team would have taken out the ninjas that were after them and they would get more fate since Tazuna was building the bridge and it looked like things were close and they didn't want this to be the last chance so all of the villagers would have basically hopped in and helped. This means that Gato's men would have basically run away. And Kakashi, as no wait, they wouldn't have ran away. Gato's men would have ran away, and Gato would have actually been left behind, as well as some other goons. Gato would have basically decided to jump off the bridge before he could get killed by them, and would basically end up dying in the waters, just drowning. Whereas some of his men would run away, and that would be the end of the Land of Wakes arc. Now, the bridge would actually be named the Team 7 Bridge instead of the Naruto Bridge since, I mean, it was all of their efforts. It was all of their combined efforts that basically helped get to where the bridge is today. 
and yeah boys that's basically where i'm gonna be ending it off if you guys want part two go ahead and drop 20 likes but uh with nothing else to say zether out